And I feel like for five years of my life, like being in the spotlight in a sense, I just have kind of gotten used to being judged. Hello, world. Um, we are driving to the airport. Classic. What's usual? Or what what's, is, no, it's new. What's usual? What's new? What the, is usual? The usual. We're driving to the airport. Dang it. And um, we actually just have had this message that we just want to share with you guys. Not even a message. Really just this idea that we've been talking about lately about um, how do you handle being judged by people yeah. and how do you handle being misunderstood by people. Uh, and it all kind of came about the other day because uh, we were playing this question game with all of our friends. It was like one of those trivia question games, but it actually it wasn't really trivia. Yeah. It was more like get like, to know you questions. Yeah, but it was like deep spiritual yeah, stuff. It was super deep. It was really good. I totally missed it with the trivia. But anyways, yeah. uh, they were like, th- but it was with cards and it was questions. Anyways. Yeah. Very Getting good. to the point, uh, they said, what do you work harder at? Do you work harder to not be judged or do you work harder for praise? And it was really interesting because there's about six of us in the room and five people said that they work harder to not be judged. And I was the only one that said I would work harder to be praised. No, that you work harder to not be praised. No. You work harder to be that's what the question was. Really? It was embarrassing. I know. And I was kind of embarrassed because I was like, is that bad that I would work harder at something so that I could get praise from people than work harder at something so that I wouldn't be judged by people? It was a really interesting question. I still don't really quite understand the fullness of it. I would do something to get praise and like not do something because I'm scared I would get judged. And everybody in the room was like, oh, 100% just don't want to be judged. Um, and so anyways, it was just a really interesting question. But I started thinking about that and I think that the reason, and it's not so much that like I want to be praised, it's really just like I want to be affirmed by people and I will work hard at times, like whenever I guess I don't feel like super confident or whenever I'm not recognizing the confidence that I have in the Lord, like I want to hear somebody say like, hey, you're on the right track, like you're doing a good job or something. Um, like I would rather hear that than like do something just because like I don't want to be judged by somebody. And the reason is because I started thinking about that and they were like, oh, I just don't like to be judged, I don't like to be judged, I don't like to be judged. And I was like, to be honest, like I am, I'm judged all the time. Like I think I'm just used to being judged. Like when you have a big following, there's like a lot of fun things that come with that. And there's like, um, it's an honor to have that because it's amazing to be able to put out messages and inspire people. But at the same time, you're also judged by a lot of people, a lot of people. people. And so like what y'all might see is like, Oh, there's so many great comments. There's also some really hard comments and some really brutal comments and vulgar, vulgar comments and inappropriate comments. Yeah. And that's not just online. That's people that I come in contact with on an everyday basis. That's that's like people walking up to me just saying something unnecessary. Or saying something to Christians unnecessary. I'm used to people saying your voice is annoying. I'm used to people saying something about my appearance or something about something that I said or something about whatever. And like for a long time like that really bothered me and I would be like oh well what if I post this and they're gonna say this or what if I do this and then they're gonna think this and then at some point in my life I was just like you know what this is just like not this is not it this is exhausting I don't actually do things for the approval of man I do it for God and I read this verse and I actually talked about this in my first YouTube video that man looks at the outward appearance but the Lord looks at the heart it was actually the word that the Lord gave Samuel whenever Samuel was going to appoint David as king because David was just a shepherd boy, right? So, like, everybody else was looking at David. Like, his dad didn't even call him by his name. His dad was like, oh, you don't want to see him. That's, like, the shepherd boy. Um, he's, like, in the back probably playing his harp. Like, I don't know. Like, he's just kind of, like, didn't think that David was going to be the king. And so he was clearly judged, but God was like, no, that's the king. The Lord was looking at his heart. And I kind of related to that in a lot of ways. I'm like, I, don't, I feel like a lot of people might underestimate who I am or might know me as um, some, from something else, but they don't really know me for who I am. But it's okay that people say whatever they want to say, and it's okay that people think what they want to think, because being judged is literally someone's opinion or perspective of you. And, and so, and it's going to happen. And that, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's going to happen, happen because 
man does look at the outward appearance. Like yeah. that, that is what we look at. We see the outward appearance. We see um, their social media. We see um, the thing that they said. We see we see them from a certain perspective in our own opinion, regardless of if we know them or not. And immediately we judge them for, for one way or another. And so the fact is, if you have followers or if you're around people, period, you're gonna be we judged. Judge. And so I think I just realized with the magnitude of judgment that I had, I was like, this is gonna happen. So I'm not gonna try to not make it happen. I'm just gonna try to be confident in who I am and literally remind myself that God's looking at my heart and that's who I answer to every day. And that's what I have to walk into. And so that's kind of for me where I had to come to in my own life. And regardless of if you have 3 million followers or if you have 100 followers or if you don't have Instagram and you just walk to the grocery store and you impact people, you might be judged, but don't let the fear of being judged stop you from doing what you know you're called to do because that's going to happen. And God has so much for you, not because of what other people think of you or because of how great you are, but because he put something inside of you that needs to go out to the world awesome. and that the world's going to be impacted by it. So, not that I do things for praise, because that's not good either, um, nor is being judged, but I feel like more than not doing something because I might be judged, I feel like at a time in my life, I just got over that part. Yeah. But Christian's going to kind of talk about that actual fear of being judged and how it's hard to like do something or overcome something because it is scary with the idea that people might, might judge you. Yeah, and also too, like, you know, even for us, like, there are definitely moments where like being judged like it definitely hurts you know like i don't want y'all to think that if we're ever judged like it doesn't ever offend us or hurt our feelings but i mean there are definitely moments where like man like that like that like, that's not fun to hear but at the end of the day you know one of my a verse that i love is second peter um 2 12 and it says keep your conduct among the gentiles honorable so that when they speak evil against you they may see your good deeds and glorify God on the day of visitation. And I was telling Sadie about this the other day because I read this the other day. And it says, when they speak evil against yeah. you. It doesn't say if there they speak is. evil against you. So it says, when yeah. they speak evil against you. And also, too, we were just talking about this. Like, if you are judged or being judged, feel like you're always being judged, you're in really good company. Really good company. Jesus, Paul, Peter, Moses, Noah, Noah, Job, Job, Abraham, Mary, Mary, Joseph, Joseph. I mean, John the Baptist. I like, mean, everybody, everybody in the Bible that did something that they were called to do by God was judged by others. Yeah. Period. Like, Jesus was David, like, if the world I mean, hates you, it hated me first. Like, yeah. they're gonna judge you. They're not gonna understand you. It's not gonna make sense to them why you're doing what you're doing. But don't let that stop you from building yeah. the ark because the rain is coming. Like, don't let that stop you from walking into the promised land. Don't let it stop you from being yeah. stoked that you get to carry the Son of God because yeah. people are like, wait, did she have sex before she was married? Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, God is like, God, something bigger for you than what other people's opinion of you is. Like, yeah. it's gonna be bigger. It's gonna be crazy. And people are not gonna understand it. They're gonna misinterpret it. But truth stands. Yeah. Truth lasts longer than any lie anybody can, or perspective somebody can have on you. The truth yeah. is, some people are just gonna miss it. They're not gonna understand it. They're not gonna get it. And they might try to take you down by telling everybody about it. But you have to hold true to who you know you are, and what yeah. you know you're doing, and know your people. Know who aren't your people and love them. Have compassion for them. But know that okay, that opinion doesn't really matter. Like my husband's opinion, my mom's opinion, my family's opinion, my mentor. Like those opinions matter. I need to listen to yeah. that. But like that that's wisdom but yeah. people that like are on the internet that don't know you but have a perspective of you and judging you don't let that sway you yeah. from who you really are yeah. and oftentimes and oftentimes like sometimes what hurts worse than being judged is you know feeling like to love them you know because the bible says love your neighbor as you love yourself and it also says pray for those who persecute you so even just to encourage like if you're being judged you feel like you're always being judged like as difficult as it is to know you're being judged, like we're still called to love them yeah. and to pray for them and to just be a friend to them. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like that idea of like we forgive because we first, because Christ first forgave us. Yeah. It's like same thing with being judged. It's like you might be super offended, offended that people judge you, but like think about.
about it in your own heart. Like, have you ever judged somebody? Like, yeah. have you ever had a perspective of somebody before you met them and then met them and you're like, oh shoot, like you're awesome and I was so off because like my own opinion and perspective on why you did what you did. Like, we've all done it. And like having that, comp- I feel like compassion kind of comes from the place of understanding that empathy. Like, I totally get this. I know how bad it hurts whenever I'm judged. And so, you know what? I'm going to like take off that persona that I have of you and I'm going to choose to love you for like just being a child of God. Like that will make that will make friends like how will make yeah. friendships that will make every relationship in your life better if you can also stop judging other yeah. people like before what is it before you try to take the uh, speck out of somebody else's eye take the blank out of your own eye yeah. it's like there's so much more in our own heart that we can get rid of yeah. than to look at everybody else and be like oh i'm judged so yeah. hard I'm like we yeah. do the same thing yeah and if you love i mean honestly if you love those who judge you they might just stop judging you you know? That's true. I mean, that's true. So, that is true. So, what we're trying to say is do not let the fear of being judged by man stop you from doing what God has for you because man is going to judge. It's going to happen. The minute you step out and you're like, okay, I'm ready to do what God's come to do, somebody's going to have that some opinion and some perspective. Yeah. And might say hurtful things they might say inconsiderate things honestly i would go as far as say they will like yeah, when they, they do will. that like when, when they, yeah. i can't even tell you the stuff that i've heard like all these celebrities read their hate comments like we can do that too it's really unnecessary just to tell you it happens a lot and they actually those videos are kind of funny we would do that but i'm just saying like it happens it happens it happens it happens but that's not a good enough excuse to not do what god has for you so hope this helps don't let the judgment stop you, boo. Don't let it. Peace.